This Scarlet Beauty Plum is so delicious. This tree's so prolific, I didn't cut it back this year. It's only like three years old, maybe four at the most, but I didn't cut it back and it is fruiting hundreds and hundreds of fruits. And then we had a really bad storm a while back and because of the load, it broke the limbs. But they're still, it's still attached, so it didn't ruin the fruit. So they're still hanging on, ripening. But this is, I don't care if you only get less than 100 chill hours. This is a fantastic tree. You don't need a pollinator. It fruits young. Scarlet Beauty Plum. It's delicious sweet with a little tart. Amazing tree. I would say for zone maybe eight and above. And it fruits the first year you put it in the ground it's going to want to fruit in the spring. I'm going to cut it way back after it's done, way, way back, and next year I am sure that I'll have a ton of plums again. But you will love this tree. It doesn't need a pollinator. If I said that already, <laughs> sorry. They are so good. Central Florida Zone 9B. It gets no rain back here. I don't get back here to water it because it's all the way in the back acre and I just have one water hose. Uh, and this thing is green and beautiful and the plums are delicious and juicy. So it's a good one for drought too. And there aren't many of them. My apples and mangoes have dropped their fruit. Just about all of it because of our drought. Mulberries, most all of them did fine carrying the fruit. And uh, Barbados cherry. Uh, let's see what else. Star fruit. Are great. They like a little shade. I have some in the sun and some in the shade. And seems that they definitely prefer a little shade. Alright, have a great day. Plant lots of fruit trees.